want to be free. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. Happy Friday, Wolfpack. I'm Brandon Smith. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Today is Friday, January 23rd, and we're here with your morning announcements. The Environmental Club is initiating a tear recycling program until tomorrow, and they need your help. Look for the labeled recycling bins in the cafeteria to recycle your empty juice pouches. The money earned will be donated to charities and resource conservation efforts. Attention seniors, the CRC field trip planned for next Wednesday has been rescheduled and the rescheduled date will be announced soon. Talk to Ms. Warren in the Career Center if you have any questions. Our very own chess club meets Wednesdays after school in Mr. Elkins' room HP8. Anyone with an interest in chess is welcomed, even if you don't know how to play. If you have any chess sets, please bring one. Now let's pass on over to John Tristan for your weekly editorial. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm John Simmons. And I'm Tristan Lloyd, and we're here with your weekly editorial. On Tuesday, President Obama delivered his sixth State of the Union address. In my opinion, it was a mix of both good and bad, but overall more solid than Obama's previous addresses. On the good side, the President addressed the issues of taxes and income inequality, climate change, issues in Iran and Cuba, paid sick leave and maternity leave, all with a strong attitude that implies he is pressing much harder to attack these issues. However, a negative aspect of the speech was his choice to continue military influence in other countries, despite the past decade having shown that this influence has only gained America more enemies and fueled even more conflicts. Noticeably absent from the speech were the topics of gun reform, the NSA, and the controversy surrounding con corruption and bribery within government. Regardless, Obama faces quite a challenging year with a Republican-controlled Congress who will no doubt do much to try and stop many of these new efforts. So it will be interesting to see just how much influence the president will have in his penultimate year. Anti-gay activist Brian Kamenker spoke to the American Family Association's Sandy Rios about his objections to marriage equality, which has been legalized in his state of Massachusetts since 2004. Anyone familiar with Mr. Kamenker would not be surprised by these remarks considering that he once said that gay marriage would contribute to homelessness, high crime rates, and poor air quality. The surprise came when he conceded that same-sex marriage bans follow the same legal parameters as anti-miscegenation laws, or interracial marriage bans, and then proceeded to defend the constitutionality of both. In the year 2015, there was a man publicly arguing against interracial marriage. Now, in order to be fair, I give this guy credit only for being consistent, because regardless of whether you follow a literal or metaphorical analysis of the Bible, it can be interpreted to oppose both interracial and same-sex marriage. That having been said, we live in a country that has a constitution. In that constitution, we have amendments that guarantee equal protection under the laws. To some, like Brian Kamenker, that means that everyone is free to only marry people of the opposite sex. However, in 36 of our 50 states, the people have proven that's not how they feel. My only question is, how long until the other 14 catch on? Well, that seems to be all we have for you today, but until next time, I'm Tristan Lloyd. And I'm John Timmons. Back to you, Jody and Brennan. Please send them to wptvfeedback at gmail.com. Now let's hear a word from our rally directors about royalty. What's up, guys? It's your rally directors, and we're here to introduce the 2015 Winter Royalty. All right, first up, we have the freshmen. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Your Winter Homecoming Prince is Kevin Staby. Congrats. And your Winter Homecoming Princess is Emma Worley. All right. Next up, we have the sophomores. All right. Now, ooh, your Winter Prince is Logan Christensen. Congrats. And then your Winter Princess is Lauren McDougal. Yay. Yay. All right, now to the juniors. Let's do it. For our COHS Junior Prince, we have Ethan Krebs. 
And for our princess, we have Rachel Homan. All right, now we're gonna be going to the seniors. There's a lot of these, so bear with me. All right, first off, we're gonna start off with Jared Fix. Congratulations. Next, we're going on to Hannah Berg, the lovely Hannah Berg. Then we have David Awa. Yay, oh, Joe. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then we're gonna go on to Bailey Coben. Congratulations. Next is Vincent Rodriguez. Vincent. Then Claire Lorenz. Congratulations, Claire. William Schneider. William Let's go. And last but not least, Bailey Stevens. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. So you guys have to rally to announce King and Queen. And hopefully you're at the dance. Let's do it. There will be an informational meeting for visual art AP classes right after school next Wednesday, the 28th at 315 in room HF12. This meeting is for students who are interested in signing up for art, ceramics, or AP photography classes for next year. And speaking of art, any students who had ceramic work in the Winter Art Show, please pick it up from the ceramics room. If you are interested in auditioning for Advanced Theater Honors or Advanced Children's Theater next year, please come to an information meeting in HE5 after school on Tuesday, January 27th. To be in Advanced Children's Theater, you must complete Children's Theater or Theater 1 by the end of the school year. Honors is only offered to students who completed Theater 2. Please come to the mandatory meeting to set up an audition time and receive information about next year. Applications for the Broadcasting Pathway are now available, and we are partnering with digital media as well this year. Please see Mr. Young's or Ms. Wright for more information. Spirit Week is next week, and Monday's Spirit Day is Opposite Day. You can wear anything from polka dots with stripes or backwards clothes, etc. And remember that Opposite Day is not Gender Bender Day. For all of you that are going to the Sadie's Dance, here are some rules that you need to follow. Hi, I'm Vincent Rodriguez. Hello, I'm Jonathan. And so we're here to tell you guys about the Sadie's Hawkins dance on January 31st here at Casuzo's High School from 7 to 10. The theme is fire and ice. The dress for fire, you wear warm colors like red, orange, and black. And the, the dress for ice, you wear cool colors like white, silvers, and blues. There will also be a contest for best dressed couple at the dance. A boy and a girl will be chosen for both fire and ice, and the winners will be given a prize. Also, there will be a prize award for the cutest boy to ask for a date. To be entered in this competition, all you have to do is hashtag CEO Sadies 2015 on a picture on Instagram. Well, that's all we have for today. Wait, to wait, uh, hi guys. Um, you guys didn't look busy or anything. I was wondering when would be a good time to come on the show and maybe ask the executive director, who uh, the guy with the beautiful beard, the Sean Richard Strauss. Yeah, I was wondering when would be a good time to come on the show, and, like sneak in, like ask him to say, look, I, I made it official. I got a rose and a sign. Wow. Oh my, oh. yeah, I know. Is it running right now? Yeah, we're yeah. live. <laughs> Bye. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Make, make sure, sure to dress, dress up on Monday. Monday.